Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Okay, we have inner child. So um, a big focus for you right now could be inner child healing or that's maybe something that needs your attention, okay? We have, you're, re you're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. You'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. So um, give me one more card to elaborate on inner child. The number 22 could be significant to you. And we have uncertainty. People may be playing mind games with you or leaving out information on purpose, which could lead to confusion and frustration. Be smart and decide if it's worth playing back. And we have progress. If things have been slow or you've been feeling unfulfilled lately, expect a strong shift that will shake things up for you to liberate you of this funk that you have been in. Okay, so... What does this have to do with, we have, you're finding alternative ways to, to find happiness. So, what does this have to do with inner child? What does this have to do with inner child? Action. No more overthinking. You're breaking the cycle of inaction and finally getting something done. You will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in life. Protection. Trust that you are being divinely guided right now. There will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life. So there's a lot of energy here of you guys of, of uncertainty. You guys feel like you don't have the whole picture. You don't have all the whole story. You don't have all the information. But it's almost like Spirit is saying that they want you to be in an, an energy where it's like you're okay with that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm going to reread this again. It says you're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. You'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. So... Maybe you guys were uncertain if somebody was going to take action to do something. Or like you've been wanting to know how a certain situation was going to play out. But Spirit says you've been being protected. That they've been letting you know as much as you needed to know about the situation. And they're wanting you to kind of shift your focus onto like just enjoying your life. And having fun. And you know, open ex experiencing new things like... While you don't know how something else is going to turn out or what's going on with a certain person or situation, they're telling you to shift your focus onto like more lighthearted things because, yeah, somebody is about to take some type of action here. Tell me about action. We have career change. So somebody's needing to, if somebody's taking some type of action to change something with their career. A new opportunity comes. This is a new beginning that will challenge you to get out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons. No more playing small time to dream big. So, yeah, teach. You'll one day share your story, story with others. You have power in a lot more than you realize. Speaking up about your experiences and about what's important to you is a way to create change. So for some of you, you have, like, inspired somebody here to make some type of changes in their life. And it could be, like, career change. Like you maybe shared something with somebody about like when you made a career change or when you made some type of big change in your life or you had to take action to do something. And that actually was like very inspiring to this person. What about, why is repeat here? The past. So somebody, oh, a situation or someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business or to give you closure. You have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past. Okay. So, see, look, this is what I'm saying. Someone will come into your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe in the magic within you. I swear this was you guys. I feel like you guys were the supportive person. Yeah, you guys have, like, guided somebody out of, like, a dark, dark times. Or you've been, like, a guiding light for somebody out of dark times or something like that. What about, so what about the past? It's almost like you guys planted seeds or something like that. You guys gave somebody a lot of wisdom. You actually impacted and inspired somebody more than you even knew. But it's almost like be proud of all that you've lived through and, and always find the good and the bad. You have the power to rise up to the challenge and build your own doors for opportunity to knock on. What does challenge have to do with my collector though? We have, oh, what is... What does challenge mean for my collective? Patterns. You're breaking free from an unhealthy cycle. This new level of self-awareness will help you reclaim control over your life by identifying, identifying what is causing these fruitless patterns. So, 
you guys are breaking out of some type of cycle here, which was challenging for you when it came to a past person. Now what's happening? Flow. You're just going with the flow. Yeah, it's almost like you guys are just not worrying too much about what is going to happen in the future with you and somebody or with you in a situation. You're kind of just going with the flow and letting that be what it be what it is. And like, what you guys don't know is that you guys have planted seeds. Like, there's like somebody that you have inspired to get their shit together or to change their life, to leave a job, to... To not settle for a dead-end relationship, a dead-end job. Like, I don't know if this is something that you... That, just think about, there's somebody that you guys um, it told your experience to. And they actually took that to heart more, or took that into account more than you know or something like that. So let's see more about what this is. What is this? What does this mean? Because somebody is returning... somebody here that you spoke life into well i just saw the emperor so for some of you it's your, your divine masculine or it could be a masculine energy i mean it could be a divine feminine and, you know vice versa whatever it is but there's somebody here that you spoke a lot of life into this person that's probably what i'm gonna name this reading you spoke life into them and um i feel like It's like you spoke life into them and you have inspired them to make some changes here. And I feel like at some point you couldn't see that you had impacted this person. So we have the four of pentacles here. We have the page of pentacles in reverse Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. We have the high priestess Pisces energy. We have Justice in Reverse, Libra Energy. I think these are over a little too much. <laughs> Clarify the Four of Pentacles. The Three of Swords in Reverse. Clarify the Page of Pentacles in Reverse. But there's that Emperor that I saw. I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys. There is a, a masculine who was like not progressing in life. They were very immature. They were an underachiever. They just, they, they made bad decisions. They were lazy. They procrastinated. They just, they missed out on good opportunities. They would have a big ego. They just, they were, they didn't like change. They like, like they're just very immature energy. Yep. Didn't like things their way, the highway. Like it's Aries energy with the emperor. I'm telling you, there's somebody here. The five of cups in reverse. And we have the eight of swords. Your intuition told you that, you know, you did all that you could here. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to move on with your life. Not let this person hinder you and keep you stuck and hinder your progress just because they're stuck in there. You know what I mean? It was like you planted seeds in them, right? But they were maybe not, you spoke life into them, but they were maybe not, not ready to like, it impacted them. But I'm trying to think about how to explain this. Like they just weren't ready to accept it or they weren't ready to hear you or they weren't ready to, it's like something about like, something like that, right? And I feel like your intuition was telling you, it's time just to move on from this. You know, like, you've done all that you can to help this person, to help them level up, to help them grow, to help them progress. They have to make that decision for themselves to make those changes. You've, you've given them like the, 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 um, the manual, right? You gave them the manual, kind of, not totally, but you did. You gave them the manual, but they were not wanting to read it or they weren't wanting to apply it right so you're like okay well there's nothing else i can do here because i'm not going to stay stuck and stand with this person so i think your intuition was telling you okay it's time to let them go and move on detach from this right well we have death on the back of the deck change scorpio energy temperance sagittarius energy the oh what is this I don't know if there would be like endings between you and this person and then you would reconcile, but they would never like fully commit to you or something like that. Um, or for some of you, they reconcile with somebody and it was very short lived. Um, tell me about, uh, well, let's take a look at the four of pentacles and the three of swords in reverse first. 
somebody's still holding on to some type of, or somebody was holding on to some type of pain or heartbreak, but they could be healing from that now and releasing that. Um, saving money, security, long-term security, solid investment. Um, you could be holding back from this person because you're trying to protect your heart. You're trying, you're doing this out of self-love. You're not doing this to punish this person. You're not doing this to leave them all in the, on their own or whatever. No, you're doing this out of self-love. What is justice reverse and the eight of swords? Somebody, it's on somebody's mind how they didn't do right by you. Somebody had a reading like this, I think, yesterday. Yeah, page of swords in reverse. What about the page of swords in reverse? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The lovers, Gemini energy. What about the lovers? Somebody felt like they couldn't figure out what the right thing to do was in a situation. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Ten of Cups. What does that do with my collective? Okay, so tell me about the devil in reverse. Somebody, okay. Just, maybe you guys told somebody a story. This doesn't even have to be romantic. I kind of feel like it is somebody that was like, could be your divine masculine, your twin or something like that, that you triggered them to finally awaken. But this is somebody who needed to make a decision between you and somebody else. And whoever this other person was, was either an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or this per person was giving them money, or like they were, this person had good money, or they made, like, they were, they took care of their person, or something like that. Like, they were like, almost like a parent figure to them, or they had, like, they were the breadwinner in the relationship, or something like that. They could even have kids with this person, but I feel like... For, or for some of you, they see you as this um, Queen of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups, too. But it's in a nutshell, whatever. There's a toxic situation that somebody needed to leave behind, right? And you maybe told this person about how you you bossed up, right? You were in a toxic situation. You were in this toxic marriage, this toxic commitment. You're, you were with your toxic baby mama or your toxic baby daddy or whatever. And, you know, you're like, you know what? I, I deserve better. And you walked away and... You you picked up and you, you you didn't have anything any money to your name but you you just knew that you, you know something like that you like told this person about how you like your story and how you got to where you are now and how you had the courage to walk away and how you had the courage to do this this and this and they actually and how you proved this person wrong and you nobody had faith in you and all this stuff and they they actually they think about that a lot guys and I think they've actually it's almost like inspiring them. It's almost like they didn't feel like they could do this or something like that. Like they didn't feel at some point like this was something that they could leave behind or detach from or let go of. They had a lot of self-limiting beliefs or it was just because they were so immature. But yeah, heavy. this person's extremely immature. All these pages, and they're all in reverse. Yeah, the emperor's in reverse. So now what? So the two of swords. What about the two of swords? They felt like they had a difficult decision to make. We had one foot in, one foot out the door of a situation when it came to a connection. Two of cups. What about the two of cups? The empress. What about the empress? Taurus energy and judgment. And the six of swords in reverse. What's that do with my collective? The nine of swords. Why are the nine of swords? The hierophant in reverse. The star in reverse and death. This person is, is worried that... This is just over or something like that. They won't be able to have a commitment with you or you've just lost hope and faith in them or. Hmm. I think somebody's waking up to something here and they're going to return to you because they view you as the empress. The hermit in reverse. What about the hermit in reverse? Or somebody kept going back to their baby mama or something here. Or this could even be for some of you, somebody has an overbearing parent, an overbearing mom, and you told them about how your mom or dad was toxic and you cut them off and you, you've been thriving ever since. It's just, I don't know. There's something that you have made this person realize that they can do when they didn't think they could do it before they met you. They didn't maybe even know how to do it before they met you. That's going to be different for all of you. But it's like there's something here that this person, maybe for some of you, it's, it, could, it definitely could be parents. It could be somebody needing to cut off toxic family, toxic parent, because we keep, I keep seeing this inner child aspect here, six of cups. So maybe they're feeling like you, you told them about how like you don't talk to any of your toxic family or there's something like that. Okay. Cause we did have the first card that came out was inner child healing. Remember? So what is that? I'm going to look to see if I can find it. That card again says you're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. 
Maybe because, yeah, you'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. Mm. Okay. Let's get some more clarity about what is going on here. Because... Um... You spoke life in this person. You're like, you can, like, you deserve better. You can leave that person. No, you don't need them. They're bringing you down and they're doing this to you and they're treating you badly. You deserve better. And like, maybe nobody's ever told them that before. Like, it's something about you spoke life into this person and you have made a major impact on them, even if you cannot see it yet. But you will. Because they're coming back. And they could be coming back a changed person. So tell me more about this. So we have single. It says available. Currently no other partner open to dating. And we have addiction though. Bad habits, addiction to sex, drinking, etc. Destructive behavior. So what about single and addiction? We have secretly stalking. So somebody could be single. They may not be with another person. But they could be still indulging in some type of destructive behavior. It could be an addiction or something like that. Or a bad habit. Um, or maybe they're addicted to stalking you, watching you. Curious, or maybe somebody likes to stay single so they can indulge in some type of addiction. I don't know. We have curious about you not over you checking social media. Tell me more about addiction. See, extravagant gestures. Gestures from the heart, walking the talk, making it up to you. So maybe this person knows that. I still need more clarity. We have jealousy. What are they jealous about? Somebody is kind of like, mm, work. Somebody could be jealous of what you, how, the money you make or what, how much you do for work. What's something with an addiction? Bad habits, addiction to sex, drinking, secrets. See, somebody was maybe keeping it a secret that they had an addiction. Yeah, or maybe in the past they had an addiction. So now what? Yeah, I just saw boundaries. Maybe you guys know, know this person to be somebody with an addiction or destructive behaviors or habits or something like that. So, yeah. So now what? Yeah, suffering, unable to move on, break up, suffering and grieving. Angry. You guys are mad at this person or you feel some type of resentment towards them or you feel like they've done you dirty. And they know that they have too and it's stressing them out. Yeah. This person triggers you. Now, tell me more. We have gossip. What about gossip? Maybe you feel like this person did you dirty because of somebody, somebody they told something to or there was gossip surrounding the connection with you. What about, you're going to hear from them though. But why is opposites here? Why is opposites here? Phone call and opposites. Hot and cold. Lack of clarity. Somebody wants to see, like, what's going on. Like, do you feel, do you still love them? Are you still interested in them? Is there still feelings on both ends? Like, if somebody feels, somebody feels like there's a lack of clarity. Or something like that. Passion. And finality. What's that do with my collective though? Opposites and mutual feelings. Maybe they're letting go of somebody that they were constantly fighting with. Or something like that. Or the reason why they were hot and cold with you. They were inconsistent with you. Something has come to a final end here. Goodbye to the old. No more chances. Permanent ending. Or maybe they want to put an end to the differences. Or the, the constant like, you know, opposition. Or something like that. The hot and cold behavior. Yeah, now they want. Yeah, your feelings are mutual. Equal give and take. Compromise. Yeah, unlocking. So that's what they want with you now. Lock doors are opening, removing blockages. Love is coming. Yeah, this player, this player that had their, their heart unlocked or that was not wanting to let you in. They're wanting to keep their options open, indulge in a sex addiction, whatever it was they're refusing to commit. They had grasses. For some of you, this is somebody that has grasses greener syndrome. They're always looking for the next best thing. They're never satisfied, but that could be coming to an end now. Yeah, because, yeah, that's why, yeah, going in circles, repeating cycles, not learning lessons, not making any progress. Yeah, but we have timing here too. Bad timing, waiting for the right time. Patience is needed. But there is reconciliation if you want it. That's going to be on the table. And you guys may already know this. You you can maybe feel this person coming back to you. Yeah, who's in the mental prison though? Toxic, overthinking, creating scenarios, thinking of you a lot. Not good for you. Low vibrational, toxic relationship. Happiness. What? Toxic. What's the happiness? Beauty. Somebody already knew that you were, you made them happy and they, and I feel like you intimidated them, but mirroring, did this person show you how you were toxic and you showed them how they were toxic and now that you guys maybe both see this and you're acknowledging this and you've been working on this, there will be an opportunity for a fresh start or a new beginning if you want it. All right. Why is somebody depressed though? What about depression? Freedom. Somebody's freeing themselves from maybe even from a mental illness or 
feelings of grief, hopelessness, pessimism, victim, um, you know, playing the victim. Yeah, we're not ready for commitment, independent, happy, single, wanting to be free. Yeah, somebody's got, somebody's clear now. Somebody's gotten some type of clarity here. They were confused, but they've gotten some, about, you, yeah, about you and a third party or, yeah, unrequited. That they don't feel the same way about a third party that I feel, that a third party feels about them. What's mean for my collective though? Broken promises. Ghosting. What now? What though? Love activation. Yeah, and engagement. They definitely ghosted you or they just kind of abruptly ended things with you or they just made you a lot of broken promises and stuff like that but now this is somebody that has had some type of awakening here they want to come in and try to prove to you that they can be solid and secure for you i mean because and it's going to be hard for you to believe this because this person has made a lot of broken promises and you have caught them in a lot of lies or something like that but i don't know guys it's going to be hard because this person has lied to you a lot they want to come in and try to prove themselves or you're going to require that they prove themselves that they can offer you something solid and stable and secure. They are thinking about commitment and marriage. Um, I do feel like this person a lot. Let's see, because we have spotlight and wish come true. So whatever this is that's coming in is something that you guys have been wishing for. Yeah, I do feel like they've been letting go of an ex or something like that. What is habitual liar, though? Are they still in that energy? Children, they maybe didn't tell you the truth about a child. Or, yeah, children involved using child as a palm, staying for the kids. So what does that have to do with habitual liar? Painful love experiences, fight for love, worth the troubles. Chaser, low, low self-esteem, validation of self-worth, abandonment issues. I'm telling you, somebody, what does that do with children? Soulmate? Waiting? It's, it, I, I keep telling you, this person is very childish. They knew that you guys had a soul connection, but they didn't. They were so childish, they didn't know how to handle somebody like you. Yeah, I feel like that's why the things have been at a standstill. What about Thorny Rose, though? That's why things are so painful, but we have revenge body. You guys have overcome. If you guys, this person hurt you, you guys are overcoming this. I'm telling you. And you're looking good and everything. They're going to, they want to rebuild your trust. Yeah, they want to, re, or they want to earn your trust. You guys may not know. Yeah. They had a choice between like a superficial relationship or building a solid foundation with you, or they had to give up like superficial relationships or something like that. Yeah. And then while they were trying to make that decision, they were stringing you along. Yeah. There was like a karmic and a true love situation. That they were juggling or something like that. Huh. 